All right, in this problem, we are looking for the potential static one hit hazards for the circuit that's shown. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take the logic function. All right, so looking at this, this is f is equal to b d bar or a bar c bar d. And we'll put that on a Carnot map so we can find the single bit static one hazards. Okay, so here's a Carnot map. Here's region A, B, C, and D for F. Okay, so first of all, let's find the region B D bar. Okay, so that's the intersection of B and D bar. So that would be these four squares. We can put the ones there. Okay, next we can look for A bar C bar D. All right, so we look at the A bar region intersected with the C bar region intersected with the D region, that would be those two squares. And so we can put the ones there. All right, so you see these two correspond to the two input AND gate, and this corresponds to the one input AND gate. Okay, so we, we can tell that we have a static ones hazard when we move between these two groupings on the Carnot map. Okay, so if you were looking at input combinations, labeling these, if we went between 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 0, 0. That's going between these two squares, which is the uh, potential static one hazard. Okay, so we fix that by adding another circling so that we don't have to switch groups. All right, so if we add this product term, okay, so reading the Carnot map, that would be boring on or a product term of A bar, B, C bar. Okay. So putting that additional hardware, A bar, B, C bar would eliminate the single bit static one hazard. 